جود مورنينج ايفري وان هوب يو اول سيف وذ ذا جود هيلس وذ يو مس دينا البدري ساينس تيشر فور جريد فايف اي مس يو اول ليت اس ستارت اور نيو ليسون ليسون فور سام بروبرتيز اوف لايت وات ار ذا سام بروبرتيز اوف لايت وات ار بروبرتيز اوف لايت ذا امونت اوف لايت ابزورب ديبند اون ماتيريال ذات ذا اوبجيكت از ميد اب اوف so we can classify material according to the passing of light through it we have three type of material according to the passing of light transparent translucent and opaque material the first one transparent material allow light to pass through it because it is not absorb or reflect light object can be seen clearly when viewed through transparent material What are examples of ma transparent material? Air, glass, and water are example of transparent material. Okay, so what is the meaning of transparent material? Allow light to pass through it. And we can see uh, materials clearly or object clearly behind it. Okay, uh, the second one, translucent material. Huh. Uh, it absorbs some of light. and allow some of light to pass through it. Objects appear as a plurally shape when viewed through translucent material. So not being uh, very clear, okay? Like waxed paper, uh, frosted glass are examples of material that are translucent. And the third one, opaque material, doesn't allow any light to pass through it, okay? or reflect from it like the wood like the metals like thick paper are example of material that are opaque material uh, we have a laser light uh, travel in a straight line so all the light by the way travel in a straight line we know from the previous lesson uh, did you see the laser light did you see how uh, it is a focused powered light We know that the thunder and lightning start at the same time, but we will see the lightning first. When a starting uh, pistol is fired, we see the smoke first and then hear the punch. Okay, so light travels very fast, about 3 by uh, 300,000 uh, kilometers per second. or 186,000 miles per second. At, at this speed, light could travel that equivalent of eight times around the world in, in, in one second. So the speed of light is very, very fast. More than the A, more than the sun. Uh, light can create a shadow. So we have uh, the first uh, property of light, the light passing through material according to the material. Okay, we have transparent material, translucent and opaque material. And we know that the light travels in a straight line. The light according to or uh, because of the light travel in a straight line, we have a shadow phenomena happening. Shadow are placed where light is blocked. That you see. Ha, we can see the shadow of this tree when the light falls, li the sunlight falls on the tree. Ha, behind the tree, it forms the, the shadow. A wave is the strapions that transfers energy from place to place. So we know that the light travels in wave. Light waves are like other kinds of waves. They have crest troughs, wavelengths, frequency and the speed. However, light waves are electromagnetic. Light waves have a component that is electric and magnetic. Okay, uh, next time, inshallah, we will talk about reflection and refraction of light. Now, we are going to watch a video about transparent, translucent, and opaque material. After that, you are going to check your LMS and prime the sheet and solve it. Thank you. Can you see something in a completely dark room? Not really. The reason is you need light to see the objects. And what we will learn in this session is the concept of light. Now let's slowly lighten this room. 
Why are we now able to see the objects in the room? The reason is that now light reaches us from these objects. Light from the source falls on the objects and travels to our eye. Light helps us see objects. Do you know what the source of light is called? Objects like the sun or the tube light or the torch are called luminous objects. Can we now see the objects outside the window? Nope, we can't. But the question is why? It's easy. Because the light from the outside of the window does not reach us. The wooden shutter blocks this incoming light. Such objects are called opaque objects and they are very large in number. Almost everything around us is opaque if you think about it. Wood, metal, sheets, coloured plastic and so on. Now let's open the wooden shutters. Can you see something new? Yes, we see the surroundings through the glass. And I'm sure you know why. What has happened now is that we have a clear glass which allows light to pass through it, allowing us to see through it clearly. Such objects are called transparent objects. Earlier the wooden shutter was opaque and the opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them. Now look at this shelf which has a milky glass. Are we able to see what's inside? Well, we can't see the things clearly but you do see something, right? You can probably guess that books are kept inside. Yes, milky glass allows light to pass through it but only partially and one can see some light coming through it. What is the difference between the two? While the objects like clear glass are called transparent objects, the objects which allow light to pass through it partially are called as translucent. We can easily think of examples of opaque objects. But can you think of other transparent or translucent objects? Yes, clean water, glass, clear plastic bottles and air are all examples of transparent objects. Can you think of examples of translucent objects? Yes, butter, paper, thin sheet of plastic, milky glass are a few examples of translucent objects. In the next video, we will learn an interesting concept of shadows.